Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. If you like this video, you give your opinion at the comment section below and don't forget to share this video. There is a very dangerous trick that William Ruto is playing when it comes to the IEBC. This time, time round, William Ruto wants to propose with his team and you will not understand and know the kind of person that William Ruto wants in IEBC chair. And because that person is likely to have a kind of good reputation, and that is David Maraga, they are convincing David Maraga to go and apply for that position. As William Ruto had already played a very kind of tactical process, and in fact, immediately he took over, he appointed David Maraga as the chair of the police, I think it was police what? Police affairs, if I'm not wrong, I'm not remembering the, the exact word. And Maraga had to review some issues when it comes to affairs of police officers across the Republic of Kenya. And I don't know if he's continuing to do that because this is about some period of time, then it will expire. But now, the Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade are like convincing David Maraga to go and apply that position as they believe that Azimio will not come out to reject David Maraga. The reason being, David Maraga is the former Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. And is the first Chief Justice who came out nullifying election of the Republic of Kenya 2017. Where he came out saying the election was having some irregularities. But now, that is the scenario that is going to make us mew to believe that now Maraga is fit for that seat, but it is the project of William Samiruto that when they are going, or rather as we approach future election 2027, David Maraga is going to bear to be their, their project. And because this issue of IEBC is creating a lot of conversation across the Republic of Kenya and also the dialogue, we are being told that as Mio came out demanding <coughs> to be included when it comes to reconstituting new IEBC commissioners, as we are eagerly waiting for that who is going to be the chair of IEBC. But again, as, as some matters and issues are so concerned with someone that is going to be the chair of IEBC, is that can Maraga accept any bribery? Because this is the same same man who came out saying he was bribed in 2017 and he rejected it. Is it that Kenya Kwanzaa is putting a trap that is going to trap them? That is the question because I am not sure if the way things are and Kenya Kwanzaa is trying to project David Maraga as their person in the IEBC so that in the near future election they're going to depend on David Maraga this is like going to fail them. Because according to my opinion, I'm looking at this in different picture. Maraga is a man that if it was easy to be mob, uh, manipulated was the year 20, 2017. Maraga was called. Maraga was, was promised millions of money and he rejected coming out nullifying the election of 2017. 
is this something that is going to repeat itself if any case they're going to accept David Maraga to be on place as the chairperson of IEBC? And are they going to succeed convincing David Maraga to manipulate the near future, uh, or rather the future election 2027? But for me, Maraga might come out cleaning IEBC once and for all. The way he trembled, the Supreme Court, there is a kind of possibility of David Maraga coming out to clean IEBC once and for all. And those who might find themselves as victims are William Samaruto and Vigadi Ashagwa. Because they, they believe that if they are going to capture the head of the IBC, they have already won election. There is something that you've said several times. If IBC could have been so fair and conducted election free and fair, today Raila Odinga could have been the president a long time ago. Today we could have been calling even Raila Odinga former president of the Republic of Kenya. But because the interest of some few individuals when it comes to the leadership of this country, they always, they, they always come out to adjust kind of conversation to make them their own president. And that is why the scenario that happened during the Wafula Chibukati, I never trusted Wafula Chibukati since the election was nullified. I never trusted Wafula Chibukati. So even if Raila Odinga in 2020 general election, they came out saying that they were trusting again of Fulachi Bukati, which according to me, there is something that we had raised questions. That if election was nullified in 2017, after the NASA presented their petition, presidential petition in Supreme Court, was Wafulachi Bukati competent to come out and conduct the general election of 2022? Was not really. If it was other countries, Wafule Chibukati could have not come to conduct this election. So that was the big mistake that the Raila Odingas as you came out doing. They could have come out to kick out Wafule Chibukati. And I know some people will say they could have not come out to kick out Wafule Chibukati. And how did Hassan went? He was kicked out after Manda Manos, after they said um, uh, Hassan must go. And he was kicked out. The same to Afula Chibukati could have been kicked out. So the scenario that is going to happen in IBC is the man that is going to take the next mantle from Afula Chibukati. As Afula Chibukati has retired, we are eagerly waiting that person that is going to erase and clean IBC. And the IBC records must be clean. That person is David Maraga. Even despite of Kenya Kwanzaa government coming out trying to seduce David Marag as someone that is going to save them. As you know, they believe that Raila Odinga is easily going to accept David Maraga because of the nullification of election 2017. So they believe that David Maraga is competent according to them. But in long last, I believe and I have assurance that David Maraga is going to fail these people. And David Maraga might shock these people. And David Maraga must, might come out shocking wonders. Because this is a man in a mission. During his appointment as the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, he was in a mission and he trembled the Wafula Chibukatis. Now, what if after his retirement, then he come back as someone that is going to change? I know some people will say about his age, someone that has retired from the public office should not come again into another public office. I don't know the possibility in Kenya of being again in the public office, there is a bigger percentage of assurance of that. So without any fear of contradiction, I believe and I have my opinion according to me. I don't know if your opinion suggests the way I'm suggesting that Maraga is going to fail or uh, rather William Samuel Ruto. The way he came out failing Uhuru Mege Kenyatta and William Ruto in 2017. So that is a clear path that William Ruto and his team and not realizing that this is going to fail them terribly. So ladies and gentlemen, 
Perhaps that is my opinion. I don't know your opinion. Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.